Alright, hey viewers, this is Watch Me SC bringing you guys another League of Legends commentary, this time featuring Maokai. So, if you guys like this video, make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, as you can see, they are owning the shit out of us, or me early on, but I'm gonna take advantage of my passive. And my natural tankiness. And I should be okay. Not too worried about a little bit of damage here. The more they cast spells, the faster I'm going to charge up. So, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Really? I'm still getting used to canceling his attack animation. I used to play him a lot. I made a bunch of videos on him, but anyway, I leveled up Q here because I didn't get root. God damn it! No root. God damn it! Leave me the fuck alone. I'm trying to make a video. Cause that's not how I play Maokai, okay? I play him safe. God damn it! Urgh. I don't care what you want. What I want is what I'm doing. Farming, god damn it. Look, there you go. You got your kill. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm probably gonna get a kill too. Oh. If that would have chased her, it would have got the kill. Would have got the kill. No. I don't get it until level four. Anyway, enough with this guy. So, Maokai, play him, I'm, or I'm playing him right now. This build is basically an AP tank build. Um, I'm going 9, 21, 0 with magic penetration, and I'm going... Dodge, magic resist, and flat HP. So, let's see. Pick up another Dorans here. And I'm just going to build up my passive there. So it's only got one cast left on it. Basically, his passive allows him to get hit points back 77 every five spells. 7% <clears throat> of his max HP, so the higher HP you have, the better. And then his Q is where he slams the ground, and it's an AoE shockwave that shoots out a little line that also slows, so it's kind of like a short range. And his snare, which he travels to the target and snares them. Anyway, um, his E is his sapling. Anyone who's played against him should know this skill. And basically it deals damage when it lands and then it readies itself and deals damage and then chases after people and deals damage when it explodes. It's got like a three second timer after it lands or after it like pops up until it explodes regardless that was terrible that was a terrible terrible toss so I level um, E 
as my main priority for farming and harassing because there's so much damage. The explosion is ridiculous amounts of damage. It's one of the highest scaling skills. At level 3 it's dealing 290 if you hit with all of it, so that's quite a bit of damage. As you can see, cutting through those creep easily. He's really able to farm, like even in a dual lane. Dual lane. I played him mid last game, not so bad. I did pretty well, but it was against the Rise, who wasn't so good. So I don't know how well that is necessarily gonna be for you, but I think he can definitely hold his own. He farms exceptionally well with Sapling. She's always talking about using her skills. Stupid double stun. Oh well. His stun is super short. Almost got him there. But I'm super low on mana. But she isn't, so she's probably going to be able to get the kill there. Oh my god. Why was she, fuck. Why was she diving that? I do not approve of diving. I'm gonna have to flash away. Oh jeez. I do not approve of diving, especially early on. But I guess overall that turned out well for us. Should be able to take this group of creep and go back. Really? Riven's stun is so incredibly short that I don't even know that you're allowed to call it a stun. Anyway, I didn't show you guys really who we were against. It's Riven, Tarek, Misfortune, Akali, and Gangplank. And so far, it seems like we're doing alright. Um, we don't have a jungler. They do. They have Gangplank, so... I could probably stand to go gank mid here. What? I don't know how that's going to fare with Karma. Yeah, I guess I'll go try it. I got exhaust and my snare. So. And my Q. Oh, that bitch has a motherfucking ward. I will punt her in the fucking throat. I will fucking kill you, bitch. No, I'm not gonna dive. Not early, especially. Oh, that was a terrible prediction. Only little dives. Anyway, that guy little, uh, you can see as that thing kind of like ran around and did its retarded thing because I missed. Oh, well, we got bottom, so. Enemy territory for the loss. Uh, I guess we can go try. I'm gonna go get blue. <coughs> I should be able to kill him pretty 
I don't tend to use Leela. I'm not using my W because it's terrible for mana, and I'm still gonna need some mana here. But I can probably use it now, I guess. Alright, I'm putting another point in my queue here. Because uh, it scales a little bit less good overall with your um, AP, but the cooldown is a lot lower. And it's AoE, so it's really good for farming, which basically allows you to get so much stronger items. So. And there's Misfortune. Oh, I thought that was Misfortune. I thought I saw Misfortune, but I guess not. We got two bot. I guess I'll just stay. Load it up with a bunch of saplings. Let's see how viable this is. I've never even tried this before. Bunch of saplings just chilling in the bush. They last for 35 seconds. So, not as effective as traps, but. Oh. They came. They didn't come far enough. God damn it. Those sons of bitches. Alright. Now they're going mid. So, I'm just gonna push bot, because I can dominate these creep here. Okay, where well, they are raping us up there. So that's not good. Oh, misfortune. That would hurt her quite a bit, I think, if she actually came to me to fight. I need to go back, though. Hopefully I can make it before those creeps from the mid come kill me. Alright. I like to go cooldown boots. They seem to work quite well, so I don't have enough money for that, so yeah. That looks like I'm stuck. <coughs> Corky's about to get dominated. Come on, guys, we can push the lane. It's alright. Just toss down your sapling. So wait. Damn, that was a fucking molesting. Oh yeah, for sure. That would have been a raving. But... Group up TF. It's not too hard to tank a few creep, even with a little bit of damage from them. His passive works pretty well. Alright. Oh. Where are you going, Karma? And another point in Q here, obviously. So basically I'm just trying to farm up to get better and better items with him because you really kind of want the item advantage if you can get it. But you don't have to work that hard for it because his E naturally deals a ridiculous amount of damage. So you can farm pretty well if you just target the ranged creep with it. Good thing they're all ignoring me. Oh lord. Well that was a t 
clear him before I... Oh, I tried to exhaust him. And I used my skills in the wrong order right there to take Targ down. But... It worked out. Kind of. need to farm up here and go back because I do not have enough mana to take that tower down with them. I don't have enough mana to do what I need to do to take her out to be helpful. Alright, um, I don't know what I want to go next, but I know it costs a lot of money and God damn it, I only have boots one again. What the fuck, sauce? Uh, yeah, I'm doing okay here, looks like, in farm. Not the best, but not the worst. I should probably be doing better, but... <clears throat> it is what it is. I don't care. Oh, here's Akali and Riven's hiding back there. Put another point in my ult here. A lot of people don't like to scale his ult, but... The f damage is pretty good on it. Try to start a good team fight. You got it, killer. And as you can see, he farms quite well, especially once he gets more AP. The more AP he gets, the better. He does have a pretty high mana requirement, though. Yeah, I'm just trying to let Shen push a little bit here. And I threw down my ult there. So. And I'm going to try to take out this fortune here. And if I just attack her, that would help. And I picked up the kill there by just getting her with the AoE that was leveled there. If I was leveling the snare, I wouldn't have been able to get that kill. But, sorry to talk too much during the team fight, but I was kind of trying to focus. So I didn't die as easy. Yeah, I threw down my ult as soon as Gangplank threw down his. It's really good for AoE ultimates. Like, countering AoE ultimates. Pretty successful. I'll take a turret shot for that, but we'll get the tower down. So that's fine with me. Grab a little bit of their gold on the way out. And uh, it's time to go back for some boots now. Time to get some cooldown boots here. And, uh, we're gonna go for Death Cap. Because the AP ratios on him are pretty good. No, Corky, you are about to get down to the shed. It's not worth it. Just wasted his ult, too. I can't take out most of these creep pretty easily. Too much damage from them. Oh yeah. This looks like a terrible initiation. That was quite an easy fight there, actually. You not 
And I'm just gonna try and pick up some of these minions here. I do have blue buff, so no real need to do anything here. Deal a little bit more damage there to her with my alt, which is on a pretty short cooldown, so. See if I can pick up their blue here. A little bit risky, but I do have my flash. I don't really want to use it, but if I have to, I have to. Yeah, I have to. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Not that big of a loss, but it could cost me a kill or a death later on. But what are you gonna do? Sometimes you take risks when you're watching SC and they don't pan out so well. Welcome to the world of gaming. Alright. <clears throat> I really like Maokai Elm. I haven't been like I haven't played him in a long time. I don't know why. There's like just a lot of champions that I haven't played that I used to play a lot. I just kind of rotate, but I noticed that's a one way to keep League of Legends fun is to kind of rotate the champions you play. If you play one champion for too long, you tend to like get really bored of them. And it looks like they are dominating this area. Alright, this doesn't look so good. Oh lordy. Trying to get some damage on them. But, I think they're probably gone. I think they're probably gone. I need a lot more gold to do anything. So. I think I'm gonna see if they have their wraiths up. No. Negatory. Alright. So I'm gonna farm this creep wave. And go to the bottom, I think. I think it's time to assist in the bottom. Can I catch someone with a sapling? Trinity Force, wait for me. Oh yeah, the minion glitch of the HP. Hey gang. Where is Gangplank? Oh, he's back there now. Alright. So yeah, I've been posting a lot of different type of content. And I know I said I was going to post that on Watch Me SC 2 but... I cut down the let's plays so it's not going to be as like consistent amount of like 20 uploads or something like that. It's going to be shorter things like first 10 minutes and other sweet things like that. And Adventures In, which is basically just like casual commentaries replacement, kind of. I don't even know why I changed the name or anything like that, but it is what it is. Are we gonna fucking fight these noobs or what? That was a whiff. Ah, see, I told you guys I don't dive. If I can't get a little bit of sampling out of huh? Oh, she's owning him. Get him, Karma. You go, girl. Oh, no. I got no one. Uh, 
Oh, oh god. Let's pick up the killer with my Q. And holy shit, I didn't commentate any of that battle, but you guys saw it. I was focused. I was focused on the goal there. And next I'm going to be going for Rylize. That item is quite good on him. Quite good. Abyssal is also acceptable here. Mercury Treads and Ninja Tabby in certain circumstances. What else could it be passable? I mean, you can go tanky with him, but I don't, th I don't like it as much personally. It's just not as fun for me. You don't get to farm as much late game. Your E starts to fall off like once the creep gets stronger. Once you guys start hitting like level 18 and you don't have any AP, your E won't flatten a wave of creep instantly, which is depressing and makes for more difficult farming. Oh yeah, Tarek, you get me. You go, girl. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, he's like, oh wait, I didn't deal any damage to you. WTF, mate. Oh, for sure. What is she doing? Burst damaged. He has ex insanely high burst damage. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but insanely high. Especially with good AP. I have decent AP now, and it adds the full amount to his E and pretty decent ratios for the other ones considering how often they get cast. Take the shield there so I didn't take too much damage. I'm just gonna try and deal some damage to the tower here. And I'm not gonna press this. Eh, there's a few dead but not enough. Can I reach him from here? No. Thought I might have been able to reach him. Should be able to take him out pretty quickly here. I do kind of need blue buff though, if you want to keep spamming your spells like that. He's really, I mean, he has enough mana to do it, but it's much better for him to have blue buff if you're going to try to be in sustained battles. <coughs> I'm just gonna pick up blue, come on, come on, let me get blue. Thank you. Take those out. Always just try to, I mean, I, I always like to farm up creep as much as I can. I guess missing minions in the lane might not, probably makes it about even, but it's extra experience that other people aren't getting which means overall they're gaining more experience in the lane and holy shit she is getting molested and I'm just gonna pick off her Toss down a little sampling surprise for her when she left. And that's the game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this live commentary by Maokai. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you uh, like me, leave a comment that says, Watch me SC. You suck. Victory. If you don't know what else to say. Otherwise, say something nice because I like that better. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.